Hey, you! What's up, everybody? Flo here, back for another episode of The Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker HD. Whereas last time, way off, we had defeated the Earth Temple, and we were told to depart to the Wind Temple. And we're going to do that. So uh, we're, we're going to kind of do that. Um. Uh, now when I say we're going to kind of do that, uh, I'm going to start out this episode with a small bit of side questing. I know, more side questing. But, uh... This will be, uh, most of the side questing that we do for the rest of this series will, it's just gonna be 100% for pieces of heart. We literally have nothing else to get that are optional items. The optional items being, we only needed one empty bottle. And, uh, the magic armor was optional. Uh, the picto box was optional. And, uh, yeah. So... We got all of the optional crap that we don't really need to worry about. La letters for Link. We have one letter. Here's your letter. Cash on delivery. Postage due is 10 rupees. Yeah, sure, I'll pay. Have you been, man? I gotta tell you, you really helped me out here back in the mail center. I appreciate it. I've been trying real hard ever since then, but my postman skills are still weak. I cannot seem to hit 22 letters. I doubt I'll ever be as good as you, man. So anyway, I've just been hearing all kinds of crazy tales about you. I figured I just had to write you a letter. Sounds like you're doing some pretty awesome, amazing stuff. You're great. You're awesome. You're the man. Man. You probably could tell I had no idea what to write, but hey, I figured that the least I could do would be send you a letter of encouragement. So yay, man, yay. Go, man, go, 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 never give up, never lose hope. And while I don't make much, I'm sending you the wages I've earned today. Just doing my part. Hope it helps. I'm really sorry I had to send this cod, but I guess that's the price of fame. Take care, thanks again, boss from Beto. He gave us a red rupee. Not too bad. So, uh, on this island, uh, there is there's literally one little side quest that we can do, I believe. Like that's it. Oh, Link, you made it back. Our pig, our pig just mind-boggling huge. We caught him after you left the island, but who knew he'd get so big? Even if I wanted to take him out for a walk, he's too heavy. That's all I can do is just leave him over the fence. Say, you look pretty strapping. I bet you could lift him. Could you do me a favor and take this guy for a walk? So, the mini game is uh, take this guy for a walk. Uh, basically, we have to take him uh, to the other side of the island and put down bait in a certain position. So, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do that. So, uh, getting over here, we're going to drop this pig, and then right around here, uh, we got to drop bait on the ground, and then he'll dig it up, uh, the ground, and he'll drop a piece of heart. So, yeah, uh, he will actually drop different items. So if I kind of drop it right here, after a while he should notice, and uh, he'll give you different items, I think like rupees, and uh, yeah, like he gave us bombs. So, uh, can be some pretty useful things. 
Um, it's not really worth the amount of bait. Uh, just the piece of heart is. So, yeah. Um, we could probably at this point get enough pieces of heart. Well, not probably. We can get enough pieces of heart to get up to probably 17 or 18 hearts. Um, I'm not going to get uh, 17 or 18 hearts now. Uh, I'm just gonna continue with the story. I'm actually gonna get one more piece of heart. Um, I just need to look up where it goes. Because it's a little annoying. Alright. Found out where we need to go. We need to go to Bomb Island. There will be a... Uh, it's going to be a piece of heart waiting for us there. And then we can... Uh, yeah. Head out. So I just need to look on map. And I believe this is the island I'm going to want to go to. Right up ahead. So uh, yeah, there's so many things at your disposal right now uh, that you can do. Uh, pretty much everything on the uh, ocean you can complete pretty much at this point. Um, there's not a lot that you can't do. Yeah, this is not the, uh... Oh, jeez. I severely dislike the cruising system in this game. But, yeah. That's kind of just a side point, I guess. Yep. So, I'm just gonna collect any form of rupees that I can. That's the thing there. So, um, or, oh, yeah, I forgot. I need to actually open up the C chart. Nice. Gotten a lot better at sniping these far away ones. Actually, I don't think I've actually had to really move around all that much for one. So, that's pretty awesome. So, we're up to three. So, if I can think of a single piece of heart that I could possibly get right now. I can't think of one off the top of my head. Which kind of sucks. Like, I can think of one... But it's going to take like 20, 30 minutes. Well, not 20. It's going to take like 15 minutes for me to do. So I'm not entirely interested in spending that long. So I'm not going to. Uh, I'm just going to head right on to the Wind Temple. And we'll uh, progress the story. So we got two pieces of heart. Uh, we just need one more. To really... Uh, get anything. Actually, uh, as we're at Windfall, I'm going to head over to uh, one of these guys, because they want our uh, skull necklaces. It's literally the only use for something for these in, our, in this game. It's just these skull necklaces. I don't know if this guy wants it. It might be this guy? I don't know. I think it's this guy, to be honest. So I want to talk to this guy. Feeling pretty good. Why? Because I recently got my pet, myself a pet pig. Three, in fact. I got a black spotted pig, too. How often do you see them? Not often, chum. I've let them ashore to gaze, but the, the things, I can't stop worrying about the little guys. So I believe we give this guy the skull necklaces. Oh, chum, that's a skull necklace. I collect these things, but how'd you know this? I can sell these things for huge profit at antique stores, which reminds me, there's something I want to talk to you about, chum. Could you give me three of these? 
Alright. Thanks, chum. I'm happy to take them off your hands. Alright. It's called Piggy City <laughs> Sitting. Okay. I've got three. Bring them back to me within two minutes. If you do a good job, I'll reward you for your trouble. Okay, I'm gonna try this. I'm not sure if I can do this. Go. So. Oh, what are you doing? So that's one. Oh, all right. We got the first one. We just need to find the other ones. I have no idea where these guys are. Oh, here's the other one. Here's the other one. Oh, we got them real quick. We got them real quick. Um. Oh, there's the last one. That's two. I got a minute and 20 seconds to get this uh, this guy over here. Oh, jeez. Put away. There we go. We got all of them. That was a lot faster than I actually thought it was. Here you go. Dude. Wow, you found the third one. Nice. Alright, I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's a treasure chart. I don't think this is going to be a very good treasure chart, to be honest. If I'm going to be honest, I think it's just in like a normal treasure chart. Like uh, for 200 uh, rupees, which is, you know, not not terrible, but we don't really need. We're pretty good on rupees. So, yeah. We're just going to head over to uh, the Wind Temple. As we don't really need to do anything else. So I'm just going to equip an uh, item that we need. Iron boots, obviously. This is a very windy island after all. And um, I, I like the last temple quite a lot. Uh, this temple can be very... Last temple felt very short. This one is going to feel very long. <laughs> And I also believe we're going to need Skull Hammer. So, just a long trip. And then just hit him right on the head. Put away. And I'll put away and take off those iron boots. And there is another one. So, um, if you actually recall from me, I believe when I first got the Wind Waker, this is my favorite song to play on the Wind Waker. It, it's really easy and it's a lot of fun. Up, up, down, left, right. Oh, right, left, right. Oh my god, I'm saying it's the easiest. And I'm messing up. Uh, it, it's, it is easy. Uh, you just play up twice, then you play the Battle of the Gales, pretty much. Or, Battle of the Gales modified, I guess. Are you the new hero? I am Fado of the Kokiri tribe. I know I appear to you as a child, but the eyes can off the seed. I am most esteemed sage. I had been praying here so that the power to repel evil would continue to contain within the blade of the master sword, but I was attacked by the evil Ganondorf, and this is what happened to me. You wish to return the power to your blade, don't you? In that case, look for the one who has the same instrument I hold, and teach them the song you played. Once you do, I'm certain the holder of the instrument 
will feel the blood of the sages awaken in his veins. That Wind Waker you hold was used long ago to conduct us sages when we played our song to call upon the gods. In those days, it was always the king who conducted for us. Please tell the king that I would still play even in the next world. So, we need to find somebody who plays that instrument. Now, I'll let you think real deep, real hard about who would play this instrument. Might, might come to you as a shock. Alright, if you don't really know who yet, then I'm sorry. Because how could you not know? So obviously, it's Makar. Now, uh, this is one of the most confusing things because people actually don't really know where Makar is, um, or how to get to Makar, rather. Um, oh, I wanted to run right past him. Uh, but Makar is insanely easy to get to. It, it You just need to know and be intuitive. Alright, I'm pretty sure I freaking one-shot these guys anyway. I don't... Come on, these are some of the weakest enemies in the game. How can, how can these dudes not be one-shot yet? So... Um... You can obviously see the music notes coming from down there. Very pretty. So what you're supposed to do is go down here and uh, you don't really ever use this all that much, but you extend your grappling hook as low as you can, and then you swing into here, and it's a, it's a little secret cavern area, it looks really cool. Oh, Link, I haven't seen you in quite some time, have I? I'm surprised you were able to find me here. Hmm, you're wondering why I'm all the way down here? I'm practicing for the next song for next year's ceremony, and I need privacy. It isn't any fun if everyone knows in advance what song I'll play. What, can you hear this? my song outside? R really I thought the sound of the waterfall would drown it out. Perhaps I should play a little more softly when I practice from now on. And then he plays exactly the same. Well, you pull out the Wind Waker. <gasps> Why, is that a conductor's baton? <gasps> Link, are you a maestro? <laughs> That's incredible. Are you going to conduct for me, Link? What song is it? I can't wait to hear it. Please conduct. So, you play uh, the song that we just learned. The Wind Gods area. And Makar will play it the most recognizable song in the entire game. This is the fan favorite song. Hmm, does it go something like this? Strange, why does it feel like I already know this song? Link, that sacred song that you've conducted awakened me. I know myself now. I am the Sage of the Wind Temple. It is my fate to return the power to repel evil to your master's sword and to ease 
the regret the the reg wait the regrets of my ancestors oh link please you must take me with you to the wind temple and now we have makar with us and it's, it's really cute he's just kind of standing on the king of red lion's head it's, it's really funny and it's it's really cute so yeah we uh, we get makar tagging along with us the boys are back and yeah so medley and makar are the two sages So, uh, yeah. We head on our way. To the Wind Temple. So, if there's anything I gotta say about the Wind Temple, it's probably that it is very long and drawn out. <laughs> the Wind Temple is... It is the longest temple in the game. <laughs> uh... At least that's how I kind of feel about it. There's there's a lot of rooms to it. It's pretty dang elaborate. Um, it does have some really neat parts to it, but it it is elaborate. Link, as was the case with Medley, I have no doubt that Makar too has some special role to play in these events. Discovering that role is your duty. I am certain that by cooperating. The two of you can overcome the dangers and pitfalls of this temple. So, we get up here. Makar's, uh, this, that song is called Makar's Prayer. It is the, uh, personally, it is my favorite song in the entirety of this game. I love it so much. I even know how to play it on the piano, actually, funnily enough. Which is, uh, which is really cool. It's, uh, it's such an awesome song to hear being played. And, uh, yeah. But, um, I actually believe that this is a, uh, this is a good place to end off the episode. So, uh, next time on The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD, we're gonna go through with the Wind Temple. And hopefully this, uh, when we do this, I, uh, will forget, won't, won't forget to end the episode at correct times. <laughs> anyway. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>